name that I'm excited and I've never heard them read, so please welcome Neil Dennis. This is a poem from a book of mine about the influence of all the women in my life. It's called Yin Chain. When I was barely out with a mother shattered by birthing, a sister treated me like her own baby, cooed and ooed and awed me, held me when being held was all that could have mattered, with eyes to look up into, warmth to ease upon, and she barely 12 years old. And later, while my mother worked, a crucial, sweet, old crone read endlessly to me on the porch of an old house, making up stories during the long, meadowlarky grasshopper days, those summers before school closed in. Mother Goose, Robin Hood, Uncle Remus, her love of story shaping my young heart and brain for a lifelong love of words and tales. One woman after another, this one or that one, one or another, crucially time ringing down through the points of my time, careful, loving, aiding me, seeking my eyes with their own, a linking circle of receptive strength, strong hands holding. The aunt, born without ovaries, who worked at the local radio station six days a week. To her, I must have been her only child, and she spoiled me with Baseball gloves, footballs, cameras, clothes, the translucent crimson 45 single of Bob Dylan singing like a rolling stone. One after another, nurturing, helping, instructresses, guides pointing the way and providing that boon sustenance of love, a chain of yin. A high school English teacher who told me I should write, you have a gift. The poetess professor, Charlotte Gafford, who weaseled freshman me a spot in the graduate students only writing workshop when I was about 17 or 18. And that cousin who listened to my moans of lost love, laughed at my jokes, and urged me to sing Christmas songs in my Donald Duck voice. She talking me down after Muscalero adventures. Patient older lovers, pre-wives, teaching me things I had no way of knowing, smiling and patting my long hair in the sweaty night, enduring my hebrephrenic immaturity, the bad love of a moderate poverty. Sister friends who sang with me in distant places, travel companions, drinking buddies in the dark wood taverns, who read my stories and giggled, said, what next, where to? Let's go. Lying flat on my back, in a corpse-like pose, I saw it so clearly the other night. That chain of loving kindness, raw feminine power, igneous magna mater, it kept me somehow from harm, encircled me magically, teasing out the worst of male madness, leaving crucial areas undomesticated. Shakti visiting Shiva and Iros Gamos, opposites coinciding down through decades, leaving me grateful and so much less blind, aware of my slumber. When you awake, you will remember everything. 